I'm Holly Honjo, welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you my top three Japanese superfoods that you should already be eating. Let me explain what they are and how to prepare them. The first superfood I want to show you is natto. It is fermented soybeans, extremely good for you, low in calories, tons of probiotics, which means it's really good for your digestive health. Let me show you how I like to prepare it. It usually comes frozen, or you can buy it um, in the refrigerated section of the uh, supermarket, but uh, we just get the ones that are often in the freezer. It comes in a three pack, so the pack looks like this. When you open the pack, you get a little package of seasoning and then you get the mustard which goes with it. It comes with this little sheet on top. You just pull off the sheet and then you can add your seasonings in and give it a stir, mix it around and eat it straight from the pack like this. And that's definitely one way that I like to enjoy it. It just makes it really, really quick and simple if I'm having it as like a side dish um, with my meal. However, in Japan, it's extremely popular to eat it as a really nutritious breakfast. So how I'm gonna serve it for breakfast is actually to pop it in my bowl. Can you see how sticky this thing is? Uh, to be honest, it takes a little time to get used to. I'm gonna add my little uh, packets of seasoning. So in goes the mustard. Next up, I'm putting in the ugh, kind of, it's like a soy sauce, fishy soy sauce seasoning. And then I'm gonna start mixing all that together. As you can see, it's pretty uh, sticky. It's really fun though. So once that's all mixed in, I'm actually gonna add in ooh, an egg. So here we go. Just crack a raw egg into it. I'm gonna give this all a stir, mix the egg in. Now if you're doing this, obviously you're gonna to want to make sure you have fresh eggs. I'm then gonna add a little bit of suyu. So this is kind of like another type of broth, fishy broth um, with a uh, katsubon, bonito, uh, bonito fish. So I'm gonna add a little bit of that in. It just helps to give it a little bit extra flavor. And then, I'm gonna add some rice to this. Okay, it's completely like foaming right now. Now let's give this a try. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This is legit, it's so good. Mm -mm -mm. Really healthy, really good for you. Tastes delicious. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I seriously could eat this breakfast every day. Really good. The rice is going to fill you up. The um, beans have a lot of protein. Egg. Mm. What more could you want? Let me talk to you about my second favorite Japanese superfood. And this is one that you can eat every single day. I think the ingredients are probably a little bit more accessible than natto. First up is miso. Miso paste has extraordinary benefits. It's full of vitamins B, E, and K. It has folic acid. It's got tons of probiotics, so it's really good for gut health. It has lots of good healthy bacteria in there. It's gonna be really good for your digestive system. I'll also be putting out a video with other recipes you can use the miso for if you're worried you're not gonna be able to get through it in time. 
The next ingredient is wakame. It's seaweed, which is dried, and then you need to reconstitute it in water. I've already reconstituted this and then just drained off the water. It's not slimy, and it can also be used in salads. It has many other health benefits. It's good for your heart. It's full of antioxidants. It's anti-inflammatory due to its omega-3 content, and it can also promote weight loss, um, and it may also help um, stabilize blood sugar and insulin levels. So it's a really, really great ingredient. Next up is the, um, the dashi, so the kind of broth that we're gonna use. This is one my mother-in-law actually picked up for me from Costco. So yes, they sell it at Costco now. If you can't get it at your Costco, I'm gonna pop a link because they also sell it on Amazon. Uh, this one's really cool. Uh, she chose it because she said there's no preservatives, there's no MSG, um, she really likes this brand. Um, and so this one comes in little tea bags. Now, um, what I do like about this one, and it's just a little powder in the tea bag, this actually gives you um, the instructions of how to make miso soup. The one thing my mother-in-law does though is she just cuts open the tea bag and pours it all in because this will all kind of dissolve into the water and it's all good stuff. It's all good stuff that you can be eating anyway. It's the fish flakes, it's, it's all the other stuff that's in that. I don't know what, but it's good stuff. If you can't find this one, um, or you can't get it on Amazon. I also um, use this one, Hondashi. I've been using this one for a long time, um, and this will be my first time making with this one. But Hondashi is very similar, um, but it's not as kind of like organic, or I don't want to say organic. It doesn't, I think it has like more preservatives in than this one. But it's also a fine substitute to use if you can't find this one. Um, and again, you would just use like maybe a quarter teaspoon or a teaspoon, a half teaspoon, dissolve it in the water, and I'll show you how to make it in a sec. The other ingredient is tofu. For mine, I'm gonna use a medium firm tofu. I would have preferred firm, but my husband bought the medium one, and that's so it doesn't break apart. Tofu is an excellent source of protein. It's gluten-free, low in calorie. It has all nine amino acids in it, has lots of iron, and it promotes healthy heart. Last but not least, um, I've just got some spring onions that we're gonna pop on the top for kind of a bit of decoration and flavoring. I'm just gonna follow the instructions on the broth packet. So I've boiled two cups of water. I'm now adding, whoop, oopsie. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. There we go. Adding the broth. I made a mistake, I put everything in before the miso. So we've added our broth packet, then we're gonna add in the miso one. Give that a stir around. Then we're going to add in our wakame and tofu. Oopsie. Let's give this miso soup a try. Tofu. so good that just it's just full of umami which is you know that real flavor isn't it the fifth flavor salty sweet sour fourth flavor I don't know but anyway umami oh it's delish I really hope you give a miso super try and I think you'll find it delicious too the third and final superfood I want to talk about is green tea Green tea has so many health benefits. It's full of antioxidants, it can lower blood sugar levels, it's good for healthy heart, healthy brain, even cell regeneration. It's even said to burn fat. That's how good it is. It's zero calorie. I know it's not strictly a food, but it's definitely a consumable. So I really wanted to share this with you today. Now, my mother-in-law found this at Costco. Um, Itoen is an excellent brand, uh, very well known in Japan. They do tons of tea drink type things. Um, I found this on Amazon, so I'm gonna link it as well for you. Um, but yeah, green tea is excellent. Uh, this one is a huge pack. I love it. You can have, you know, green tea in the morning, in the evening, several times of day. Um, it does have caffeine in, so just be aware of that. And obviously, as with anything, 
in moderation. You know, you don't want to exceed more than eight cups of green tea a day, otherwise you're going to be in trouble. You know, treat it as you would tea or coffee. But anyway, so let's um, make ourselves a cup of this. So I'm just going to cut off the end. Wow, look at that bag. It's gorgeous. I don't know if you can see, but the tea leaves in there. Lovely. So this is actually a, a mixture of sencha and matcha. So it's two different types of green tea. The very fine powdery one is going to be kind of like the matcha tea. Um, let me grab the hot water. Now I'm just making it in this because I just really wanted to show you the color of it. You can brew this hot or cold. Um, obviously this is not sponsored. I just love drinking green tea. Um, just because I suppose I feel better when I know I'm putting something in my body that's doing it good. Um, apparently it's pretty good for fighting cancer as well, but don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah, just look at this lovely green color it goes. So you just want to steep it in here for a little while. And you know, depending how strong you like your tea, you might want to leave it longer or shorter, but that's probably good enough for me. And then I'm just going to pour it into my cup. So good. Yeah, I haven't burnt myself because I put ice cubes in here um, so that I wouldn't burn myself when I did that. Lovely flavour, nice and subtle, it's not too heavy. But if you're not already, I do suggest you start drinking green tea, just one cup a day. It's good for you, um, it's a superfood. Japanese people drink this every day. In fact, all the foods that I've shown you today, the natto, the miso soup, and the green tea are things that Japanese people eat and drink regularly, daily. Um, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you got some hints and tips of good, um, kind of and some different foods that you can try. If you have any questions about anything, leave me a comment. Um, I'd love to know if you actually get around to trying any of these or if you already do have some of these um, on the daily. But yeah, let me know. Um, and I will see you all very soon. Bye, everybody.